We have people sitting in the congregation here this morning that it's, it's, it's about a better life. We're always looking forward to next year. Now, I'll share something personal with you. I wasn't planning on doing it, but you know, when Laura and I have been in, in an incredible stage of life over the past, I don't know, two years now, where we had three children and now we have five. Uh, where we had three, we adopted one, and, and Laura gave birth to, to the fifth. Many of you know that story. What was, was not the plan. Three was, the, was sort of the plan. Two was the plan. Don't tell Eva that. Three, Eva was our bonus. And um, so the two that came in after that, you know, that, it was just, well, what, what happened here? And planning a church, honestly, guys, was not the plan. That wasn't the plan for me. My plan was to basically follow up with my dad up at Glasgow Church. That was my plan. And I was going to be there, and many of you were probably going to be there. And, and, and uh, God is providential, isn't he? He's sovereign. I wouldn't trade this for anything, just so you understand. Um, but the past two years have been very difficult for me and for Laura. You can imagine what it's like when you have an adopted child who has got malnourishment issues. Now she's past all those. But, and, and you've got an infant, and you've got Eva... You know, and you combine those three things together, just those three things are enough to drive anybody nuts. You know, and, 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 and Laura and I and many of you have had to be there for us to help carry us. Jesus has been there more than anybody. You know, but there are times where we find ourselves, Laura and me, or we find ourselves where we're like, I just, if we can just get them to, to three. And then when they get to three, it's like, oh, if they could just be 21. You know, then, then everything would be okay. If our church could just grow to a thousand people overnight, you know, and then we could take care of everything and everybody and change the world. If we could just do that. And we're always looking for a better day. And plug in your own struggles right now. You're, you're always looking for a better day. I have more money, less children, better children, successful children. A marriage partner might work for some of you. Uh, a better marriage. And we're never living in the moment, which is exactly where Jesus wants us to live. Did you know that? That's not a pagan philosophy. Jesus wants us to live in the moment. He wants us to to delight in him for all he's worth in the moment. That's why he says in the gospel, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will take care of itself. What man has added even an hour a day to his life by worrying? Nobody. Nobody. And what Jesus is telling us is, I want you as my disciples to live in in the moment. Don't wish for the better day. Don't wish for the better time. Don't wish yourself out of it. Delight in me right now. That's what it means to plan according to God's will. And so many of us are wishing and hoping, and what happens is our eyes are taken off of Jesus Christ. What does God desire for you in the moment? 